Hello, everybody, and welcome back to yet another B9400 podcast. In today's episode, we are going to be looking at, as well as discussing, the life, legacy, and achievements of the 13th U.S. President, Millard Fillmore, a member of the Whig Party. Please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below, as it helps me out considerably in terms of expanding my brand name. Let's get into it, shall we? Millard Fillmore Born January 7, 1800, was the 13th president of the U.S., serving from 1850 to 1853. He succeeded to the presidency after the death of President Zachary Taylor. Fillmore was born in Cayuga County, New York, and he began his political career as a member of the Whig Party. Here are some key points about Millard Fillmore. Early life and career. Fillmore was born into a poor farming family and had limited formal education. However, he was a diligent student and eventually became a schoolteacher before studying law and establishing his own practice. Fillmore entered politics in the state of New York, serving in the state legislative and later in the House of Representatives. He was known for his moderate views on various issues. Fillmore became vice president in 1849 and assumed the presidency after Taylor's death in 1850. As president, he supported the Compromise of 1850, a series of legislative measures aimed at resolving the sectional tensions between the North and the South over the issue of slavery. Foreign policy. Fillmore's administration saw the opening of diplomatic relations between the United States and Japan through the Treaty of Kanagawa in 1854, negotiated by Commodore Matthew C. Perry not to be confused with the late actor, God bless his soul. Failed re-election. Fillmore's presidency was marked by controversy, especially concerning the Compromise of 1850. He did not receive his party's nomination for the 1852 presidential election and retired from politics after the end of his term, subsequently. After leaving the presidency, Fillmore remained active in public life, participating in various philanthropic and educational endeavors. He also made an unsuccessful bid for the presidency in 1856 as a candidate of the Know Nothing Party. President Millard Fillmore is often regarded as somewhat obscure as a somewhat obscure president, but his term in office was a critical period in the lead up to the Civil War that lasted from 1861 until 1865, marked by the ongoing debate over the expansion of slavery into the new territories. That just about wraps up today's episode. Uh, please make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below as it helps me out considerably in terms of expanding my brand name. Until next time, this has been yours truly, B9400, signing off for the day. Stay tuned.